Hey Muscle and Strength, Chris Gethin here in the Muscle and Strength kitchen and today I'm talking to you about carbs and carb timing. As a bodybuilder or fitness enthusiast, you definitely should be including carbohydrates throughout the majority of your meals. Now, dependent on the time of the year or what you're preparing for is dependent on what carbs you should be taking and when. So if I'm trying to build muscle, obviously my carbohydrates will go up a little bit higher. However, I will always stick and encourage complex carbohydrates. When I say complex carbohydrates, they are the healthier kind coming in the form of say quinoa, couscous, brown rice, oats, or sweet potato, things of those nature. Now, a lot of people will think, hey, I'm trying to build muscle. I will eat any carbohydrate I want. No, unless you want to get fat, that's exactly what you're not supposed to be eating. Now, carbohydrates in the morning, you should have something that's very easy to digest and assimilate. So oats are a great choice there. And then throughout the day, you can mix things up. You can have your couscous, you can have your quinoa. I like to have quinoa and sweet potato, especially because I do try to go gluten-free whenever possible. But if you're fine with that, you can have brown rice and whatever you want, as long as it's a complex carbohydrate that is slow releasing. A lot of people will generally have fast carbohydrates that are maybe sugar dense around their workout. Now, I don't believe in this. The reason being our liver will store enough sugars, enough glycogen to deliver through our workouts. Now, if your workouts extend past say two or maybe three hours, much like an endurance athlete or a triathlete, then there is a place for some sugars. I did a triathlon a couple of years ago and then my diet did change a little bit. I would have maybe some more cereals like this and some more sugars within my diet because when you're training for like three or four hours a day consistently and hard, then you need that replenishment of glycogen. However, when we go to the gym, you think about it, an hour and an hour half workout, how long are you actually training for? Maybe 10, possibly 15 minutes? Your body doesn't need those carbohydrates then. So nothing fast digesting. So what I'd like to do after my workout, I'll just have my protein shake, fast digesting protein, and then about an hour after that, I'll have something light with my protein source, such as egg whites or fish, I'll have quinoa or sweet potato, something like that, that will basically fuel me for the next day's workout. Try to have your carbohydrates within every three hours throughout the day. However, if you are trying to diet down, specifically for a contest or photo shoot or for the summer, then you'll bring those carbohydrates down from the latter part of the day. So maybe the first three or four meals will have carbohydrates, but then the last one or two, number five or number six, would have no complex carbohydrates at all. That's when you'd bring in your fibrous carbs. Your fibrous carbs could be your leafy greens, such as your spinach, your lettuce, your cucumbers, uh, your asparagus, your broccoli, things of those natures. Your complex carbohydrates would be your solid dense ones. Your fibrous are your leafy green vegetables and your salads. Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully this has helped you understand a little bit about the carbohydrates, their sources and timing. If you do like this video, you know what to do. You've got to like, comment, and be sure you subscribe. Thank you.